opportunity of presenting the clean cut flatbed die cutter manufactured by Die Cutters Incorporated. We build three different size machines, 60 by 90, 80 by 115, and 105 by 144. Those measurements are the dimensions of the width and length of the table. We are currently showing you the 80 by 115. I'd like to start by showing you the safety features of the machine. We have several operator safety features on our die cutter. The first is a 12 inch long lift guard. Located on the end of the lift guard is a safety light curtain. If this light curtain is broken, the machine automatically shuts off. The operator has to physically push the start button to turn the machine back on. The distance from the light curtain to the nip point is 24 inches. This is much longer than the length of on an operator's forearm. As you can see, the 12 inch lip guard coupled with the light curtain should make this one of the safest machines in your shop. Imagine that as you are running some die cuts, your operator decides to make a last minute adjustment to the sheet. If his hand gets too close to the lip guard, the machine will cycle off. This is our operator control panel. There are two control panels on this side of the machine, one on each end. There are start and stop buttons on the other side as well, on the 80x115 and the 105x144 sizes. The controls consist of three things. First, this is the positive lock stop button. If any one of the four stops were depressed, the machine would be completely dead and could not be operated. That is a tremendous safety feature because as you can see by the size of the center section, that someone on the other end or on the other side could stop the machine and the machine cannot be started from any other location until that stop button is reset. The next one you see is the green start button. It has a metal shield all the way around it so you can't accidentally bump it. You have to physically push it in the center of the button in order to operate it. The next device you see here is a timer that allows you to set the amount of delay on each table independently. The timers adjust from 0 to 33 seconds. The timer will be explained in greater detail in a moment. This is the center section. It houses the drive motors and the cutting rolls. The bottom roll is steel. It supports the die and material as it is passing through the center section being cut. The top roll is covered with urethane. The nice thing about urethane is when you cut into it with the die, the urethane will come back together to fill the knife void instead of rolling apart and creating a void. This will increase the life of your roll and will save you money on maintenance in the long run. Our urethane allows you to run any type of roll you want without damaging the roll. This is a ribbon of our urethane and as you can see it stretches a long distance before it snaps back and hurts your hand. This is our competitor's urethane and as you can see it doesn't stretch very far before it breaks. What this tells me is that our competitor's urethane will chunk off as it is cut by a die and our urethane is more pliable and will tend to stretch and move instead of chunking off. The hand wheel controls the impression pressure of the machine. This hand wheel adjusts both ends of the top roll simultaneously. If you turn it counterclockwise, you will increase the amount of cutting pressure. If you turn it clockwise, you will decrease the amount of pressure. Each turn of the hand wheel only moves the roll six thousandths of an inch. So by using half turns or quarter turns, you can get a very accurate cut. This is the scale. It gives you a ballpark figure of the distance between the rolls. So when you are setting the machine up and moving from one rule height to the next, you can pre-adjust the machine and get it fairly close before you run your first test cut. The manual automatic control allows you to select manual or automatic running modes. In the manual position, the machine will cycle one time and stop. In the automatic position, the machine will cycle continuously until you physically stop the machine. I'd like to demonstrate the machine's operation in manual mode. In automatic mode, the machine cycles continuously. The 
limit switches are located below the lip guards. This is what the die hits as it cycles through the machine to start the timer or to shut off the machine. The clean cut die cutter doesn't require any special tools or really any special talents, just a little experience setting up the machine. This is the die that we use to test cut all of our machines. It is really pretty beat up and it's in pretty bad shape. We feel if we can get a die that is as bad as this one to get to cut good on the machine, you won't have any problems at all with a good die. To set it up, you simply lay the die on the table belts. You lay whatever you want to cut on your die. Put it in the manual mode and make a test pass. As you can see, the corrugated is uh, slick cut on one side, but it's not uh, being cut through all the way. So this tells me that I need to go down four more turns. And we'll try to that. some spots all the way, but not all of it, so we'll try it again. And we'll go down about four more turns. We have the machine set to cut where we want it and you have the switch set to automatic mode. You can set the delay timers on the tables to remain stopped for a predetermined length of time. If you are running very large sheets, your operator may require a little more time to load or unload the die than if you are running a small sheet that is easily handled. There are three basic methods of operating the machine. In the first, you have an operator loading the machine on one end. The die travels to the other end. The operator on that end removes the die cut and the die returns empty to the original starting point. This works very well for cutting very large sheets. The next and most popular method is one operator places a sheet on the die. The die travels to the other end. That operator unloads the die cut, then places another sheet on the die, and the die returns to the original starting point to be unloaded and loaded again. The last requires four operators, two on each end. One operator places a sheet on the die. The die travels to the other end where one of those operators takes the sheet off while the other operator on that end unload while the other operator on that end loads another sheet and returns the die to the original starting point. We're going to turn the machine on automatic with the timer set at zero and let it cycle a few times so you get a sense of how fast the machine runs. We appreciate your time and interest. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.